the Isle of May, home to arguably the best and most diverse wildlife in the country. A quarter of a million birds, thousands of seals and many other species migrate the island every year. My question is, do the fish do the same? For years, it's looked like a small, distant silhouette from the mainland of the Scottish coast and has been somewhere I've only been able to dream about fishing. Until now. So I'll make my way past somewhere called Bass Rock, which is the last piece of land I'll be seeing for the next round about eight miles. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. This rock here holds the largest population of breeding gannets in the whole of the country, and there are about 150,000 gannets on this rock. Unfortunately, about two years ago, there was a really bad case of bird flu on the island. It wiped out about 25% of the gannets which come here every year. Luckily, the numbers are showing signs of a comeback and there are, to me, it seems still plenty here to be able to reproduce and get the numbers back up to where they should be again. The good thing about gannets though is they give you a really good idea of where the fish actually are. If you see a big flock of gannets dive bombing an area, then you can bet that there are going to be sand eels in the area being pushed up by mackerel and then you've got the cod and the pollock feeding off of the mackerel and the sand eels as well. It does give you the feeling that you're driving through like Jurassic Park. Right, let's get to the island. Well, here we are. The drive there was an absolute breeze on this thing. I tell you what, I absolutely love this boat. I'm going to tell you the details about it in a little bit because this is probably, probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. The plan for today, right, is basically we're here to catch cod and pollock, ideally. We can get mackerel and shore, no bother at all at this time of year. And cod and pollock are the two things which I am struggling to catch from the shore, if I'm being totally honest with you. I would love to get a nice cod because I want to take a nice cod home. Just one of them, three to four pound ish. That's my goal. And I really want to catch pollock. I think the plan with this island today is to basically just keep circling it until we find the fish. Once we find the fish, we're just going to stick with the fish for a little bit here. So to start off, I think we're going to go right to the top end of this cliff line and just do a nice drift down the side of here. Let's hope for the best. I'm absolutely buzzing for this. Well then guys, here we go. First cast on the sieve. So this island here is about a kilometre and a half long. So we have got a lot of different options if there aren't fish around here. What I've been told is that there are big shoals of cod and pollock coming in and through this island on the right day. Hopefully today's one of them days. If it isn't one of them days, honestly, I'm not even that fussed to be fair. I'm starting off actually chucking around like massive lures for a couple of reasons. One, hopefully I'll be able to pick out the bigger fish. And two, I am just trying to avoid mackerel. I'm doing anything that I can to avoid mackerel because I cannot lie, I am about sick of them at this time of year. We've got tall 45 meter cliffs on this side of the island. And on the other side, it slopes right off and forms some really nice reef area, which I'm hoping to catch Pollock at. Anyway though, enough messing, let's get fishing. Definitely a mackerel. Even with the massive lures, obviously the mackerel are going to take them. Yeah, I need to straight down. Just switching up here now to a H2O 80 gram. There we go, fish on the next drop. This is pulling really hard, but it's going to be another mackerel, so that is my ticket to leave, I think. While beginning a day of many, many, many casts, I couldn't help but stand in awe with the unique and abundant bird species which the island supports. 
The skies above me are littered with flocks of puffins which come to the island to raise their chicks over the summer. One thing which I found cool about the puffins is that they do not form nests like the other 285 bird species on the island. Instead these puffins dig burrows, almost like rabbit burrows. And it seems the 90,000 of them here do a better job of fishing than I do. Got to be holding fish. Literally has to. So what I found recently is that Pollock have been liking a lure moving, actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, spat it. Hey, that was an alright fish. So I've found that Pollock actually like a lure to be moving fairly quick. They like to chase after their food. Cod, on the other hand, seem to like a slower jig. They like the lure to be presented quite stationary. So first of all, we are going to be targeting Pollock. So I'm going to try and keep it on the move. Um, starting off with a white sand eel here, but I am thinking that a metal might do better today because I've already seen a pollock down at the bottom there, which has not taken it. So we'll have a couple more chucks with the sand eel, but as we know there are fish about, it's definitely just a case of just whacking on as many lures as you can. Until obviously you find the one that's catching. There we go, there's a fish. First cast on the razor claw. That's what I'm on about. If the fish aren't looking for your lure, then they're not going to take your lure. I think that we've avoided the mackerel. It feels like it might be a cod. Oh, oh my God. Is this a mackerel? Oh no, it's just a really, really silver pollock. <laughs> oh, it's a coley. Oh wow. It's a good coley. There we go. First proper fish in the boat. Oh, there he goes. Anyway, that just shows you that you need to keep changing your lures. Oh, there we go. That's a good fish, I think. Hard to tell being on the boat, but oh yeah, that's a decent fish. Right around where we got that coley. I reckon this might be a pollock. Now it's feeling like a mackerel. Oh, don't be a mackerel. Oh, it is, it's a mackerel. <laughs> Didn't feel like one, but it's a nice mackerel nevertheless. Go on. Oh, and he's off like a rocket. Well, truth is guys, I am, well, I was going to say, not a fan of mackerel. Actually, I do like mackerel because they're great to eat and they're great for bait, but just the amount of them is a little tricky this time of year because you're never really targeting them if you come out for a day like this. Yeah, after the bigger, decent fish, and they do tend to take up a lot of your time. So we're doing all right today, though. I've only had the one in. Look how fat that mackerel is. It's a nice one. Yeah, this is doing a lot like a mackerel. There we go. Nice little mackerel. Go on. We are on the fish anyway. See, it might be coldy though. That's the thing. Come on. Don't be a mackerel. Please don't be a mackerel. We've got colour. Looks a bit pollocky. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I think it is. Oh, no, it isn't, but it's a nice coley. <laughs> that is a nice coley. Oh, get up here. Wow, the egg. Oh, there. to be fair guys, that's one of my better coleys, that is. Nice one. Right, let's slip it back. Oh. <laughs> they don't mess around. Come on. One fish on the drone. There we go. Fish on the drone. <laughs> it's tiny as well, but... Oh well, still a fish on the drone. That'd be so good to get a pollock on the drone. I right, hope we can land it. Make it official. Oh wow, looks like, oh this might be a pollock. It is. <laughs> First pollock of the day. Tiny one, but it's on the drone. When pollock are about this age, in my eyes are the most beautiful. Look at the colours of that. Orange mosaic. So Simon from Bill Hayen Marine has sent me this boat to show you what he has been working on and perfecting for the last 18 years. And I'm not just saying this because he sent me it. He has done a phenomenal job. But I do need your help. So the two things I love most about this boat are the toughness and quality of it and of course the portability, which is a game changer for me. This boat here weighs in total less than 40 kilograms. So 
the fabric on this boat is the best on the small inflatable market. This is German fabric. It is 10% lighter than other competing brands and 30% tougher. My favorite thing about this boat, and it is looking a little messy at the moment, is the fact that it's got an air deck. And these air decks on the Sea Pros are not messing about. These here go up to 70 kilopascals and they make a huge difference when putting the boat up and assembling it. I am out on the water after about 10 minutes of stopping my car. I've also got to say that 70 kilopascals is absolutely insane. It honestly feels like you're on a wooden or aluminium floor and the rigidity is ideal because the more rigid the hull of a boat is, the faster it will plane. And this thing does not mess about. Let's have a look at the max speed on it. Are we gonna hit 70? <laughs> oh that's a bit of fun that is a bit of fun so the question which i've got for you guys and i wasn't lying i need your help is are you ready this boat here has still not got a name i need to name the boat all right now i am absolutely useless for names i mean my channel's called untouched fishing definitely doesn't seem to be all that original but i am gonna give the job of naming the boat to anybody who would like to join in sort of thing so if you've got an idea for the name of the boat leave it in the comments on this video and i'll go through all the comments and i will pick out one name i'll pick out one name so there will be one winner and this boat will permanently have that name for the rest of its life so get creative with it guys single barrel names double barrel names anything's gonna go here I'll announce the winner the next time I'm out on the boat, which will be in about a month's time, I would have said, when I'm next out filming on it anyway. So, I think we're actually at the point where we need to get some decent fish out. <laughs> I've got about six hours today, I reckon, and we have not had a decent fish. <gasps> right, let's turn that around. So if you are interested in taking a look at these boats, go please, use the link in the description to check them out. I am almost certain you will be in complete love with them. All right, so I've just set up for a drift here, which is going to take us hopefully the entire length of the island over a lot of reef. Feeling good about this bit of coast, to be honest. The other side there was a little too deep for my liking, so I'm really hoping that this is going to be where the decent fish are lying. There's a fish. Might not be a mackerel. Might be a good fish. It's not very big. Oh, but it is a pollock. It is a pollock. There we go. As soon as we got on that reef, that's about the third cast over here. Well, there we go, guys. That's the reason we've come out here. That's a lovely, healthy pollock. Oh, maybe not. No, it's a pollock. It is a pollock. Nice. Took that really shallow in this one, actually. They're all such a lovely color of fish. Proper kelpies. Whoa, chill out. Another little pollock. They're great to see, but we are after the bigger ones. Oh, we we'll found a few fish anyway. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a better one. There we go, the cast after the pollock, just as I was saying that as well. Nice fish. It's more like it. Yes, another pollock. Nice. Not nothing like much, much bigger, but it is a slightly better fish. Or is it even? I don't even know if it is, to be honest. Either way though, whoops, <laughs> we found a little shoal of them. It's nice being out on the boat as well because when you've got the pollock in your hand you don't need to stress about them dropping like a metre and smashing their head off some rocks. If they fall they're just going straight into water. Yeah, we're on the fish. Well there we go, I think we found the fish. I think this is going to be another little pollock but this just looks ideal over on this area here. I think this is maybe where the big fish are going to be at. Pollock. Oh, and it's just got off. So we're going for it, this is tiny. Just feel it, just, you see that, there we go. That's fine. Cool. Here's an idea. I wonder if every one of them seals have caught a double figure cod or a double figure pollock before. If they're a year old. 
have the seals caught a double figure cod or a double figure pollock in their lives because I haven't and I've been fishing for years it's all they do though innit breakfast lunch and dinner just fish what a life you know it's sad it I hate the buggers but if I could be reborn I'd be reborn as a seal oh what I would do is I would be born first as a seal figure out where all the good fishing spots are and then be born as a human we're catching out here sorry but I mean maybe they are in the deep water but I don't have the patience if, if I don't get results from the deep water you know or with anything with anywhere really you just move don't you and the only fish that I've had have been in fairly shallow water so I, I, I can't justify not fishing it to be fair can't justify maybe wasting an hour targeting the deep water to try to get a bigger fish when they just might not be there it's probably wrong I probably should especially when I haven't been somewhere before but yeah well I'm just happy we're not blanking well we've got a fish on the drop I'm in like a, a serious bit of current here so I'm gonna say this is a pollock that seal better not have this um, right on the edge of the current line so this is making me think this is going to be an alright pollock we might have found a good few fish here actually because this does look absolutely perfect for pollock I fished it earlier with no luck but I think they are maybe just in in the evening maybe let's have a look this has got to be a pollock Five pounder. Nice one. <gasps> Seal. <gasps> look, look, look. Look. <laughs> Just tease the seal with the mackerel. I'm not going to let it have it, but that's cool. That is cool. Well, then, guys, that is going to be it for today. We did get a few fish there. Nothing quite the size that I was hoping for, but it was a great day, nevertheless. What an absolutely awesome place this is. I'll definitely be back here at some point. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one.